Hello everyone, welcome back to TS Info YouTube channel. I'm Chandrika, an IT analyst in TS Info Technology. In this video tutorial, I will explain you one of the power automate string functions that is length function. In this video, I was going to cover introduction on the length function and the length function syntax and what is the use of length function by taking a SharePoint list as an example. In the browser, type make.powerautomate.com to open the Power Automate homepage. If we have already logged in to the SharePoint or with the Microsoft credentials, it will directly redirect to the Power Automate when we browse make.powerautomate.com in the browser. In the Power Automate homepage, let's create a automated cloud flow so that I will show you my SharePoint list which I will connect to the Power Automate flow. This is the SharePoint list where I will connect this to the Power Automate flow. This is the employee ID is a title column and employee full name is the single line of text. Designation date is the date column and HR manager is the person or group column. So let's go back to the Power Automate and in the Power Automate homepage click on create to create automated cloud flow. In the flow name box provide the flow name and select the trigger that is when an item is created and click on create. This is the copilot version of the Power Automate. So if you wanted to return to the classic version click on the more commands button at the top right hand side and switch to classic designer. Then the copilot mode will be switched to the classic designer version. In the classic design version, the trigger has been added to the Flow Studio. Power Automate length function or length function is actually used to find the length of a string or an array. It will check the length of the characters present in a text string that we provided. This function will return the output as an integer in the form of length which means it will return the number of characters the text string consists of in the form of length. So let me show you an example based on the length function. Come back to the SharePoint list. In the SharePoint list, in the employee resignation log list, I want to find out the length of the employee full name values in the list. So, so for doing it automatically, let's create in the trigger, give the site address and the list name. Now add an initialize variable. In the initialize variable, take the variable name as employee full name and data type as string. In the value box, select the value from the dynamic content that is employee full name. Now add one more step to add the compose action. In the compose data operation, let's length function expression. Click on the expression and type length here. Select length and open bracket. From the dynamic content, select the employee's full name variable that we have already initialized. This is the syntax for the length function, which is we are providing string in the form of employee full name so that it will calculate the length of the characters that are present in the string of employee full name and select OK. Now I have created this three steps flow. Now click on save and test the flow manually. Now add an item to the SharePoint list, click on edit in grid view, exit the grid view. Now come back to the Power Automate flow. Now we can see the flow has been ran successfully. When we open the compose action, it will see the output has been returned the character's length as 19 because this 19 will also include the spaces provided in the string. Now let me show you an another example by adding another list item. So let's come back to the SharePoint list, click on edit in grid view. I will add one more item here. I will add the same name here without the spaces. So let's see what the length function will give. I have taken in the employee name the same name Alexander the Great without the spaces and, and exit the grid view after filling all the details of the employee resignation log. Now come back to the power automate flow that we have been created and open the compose action. So now let's see the compose action have been returned the string length as 17. This is because we haven't provided the spaces in between the employee full name. If we provide the spaces in between the then it will also calculate the spaces and provides the length of the string including the spaces. This is how to deal and work with the power automate string function that is length function. For more free videos on SharePoint online and power apps, power automate and power bi, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.